so the next topic what we are going to study is the multiplexer and encoder okay so what is meant by a multiplexer multiplexer can be defined as a combinational circuit so it can be defined as a combinational circuit that selects the that selects the binary information from many input from many input and directs it to single output okay so what is the meaning so multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects the binary information from many inputs so it consists of many inputs okay so if i take the input 1 2 3 etc up till n it consists of many inputs and a single output so the output always depends on the select lines what is called as your select lines so if this is s not s1 etc up till sem so this is called as your select lines okay depending on your select lines the output will select any one of the particular data and it will be giving it acts as a digital switch okay so it is called by various different names so the first name it is called as many to one converter many to one converters because many outputs is converted into a single uh, out, single output right many inputs is converted into single output so it is used to transmit the data into a single channel okay next one is called as data selector so why is it called data selector depending on the binary code given on the select lines it selects the multiplexer selects particular data and gives it to the output it is also called as parallel to serial converter okay so these are the different names uh, of your multiplexer suppose if there are m select lines okay select lines is equal to m then the number of inputs n is equal to 2 power m for example if select line is equal to 3 then number of inputs is equal to 2 power 3 it is equal to 8 okay if select line is given we can find out what is the number of the input similarly if the number of inputs is given we can find out the number of select lines m is equal to log 2 n so what is your n now n is equal to 8 right so we can write 2 power 3 okay so we can simplify it 3 log 2 2 so this value log 2 base is same so you will be getting 3 into 1 so you will be getting m is equal to 3 select lines we can find out if the number of inputs is given these are the two ways by which we can find out the value of the input as well as your select lines okay the example given in your text is 8 cross 1 multiplier 8 to 1 max okay so multiplexer so if it is 8 to 1 max what will be your number of select lines it is equal to 3 so let me take the select line as a b c okay single output so your input will be 8 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d0 to d7 will be your inputs okay so now you are going to form the truth table of your what multiplexer okay so the truth table is given by so truth table of your multiplexer okay so what is your number of select lines you have three select lines right so what will be your combination a b c and your output y so what will be your combination 0000010101010011101111 and 11 okay so what will be your corresponding output 
So for your binary code 000, data D0 will be selected, D1. For 010, D2, it goes on. Okay, D4, D5, D6, D7. Now what will be your expression? y is equal to, so y is equal to a bar, b bar, c bar into d naught, a bar, b bar, c bar into your corresponding data plus a bar, b bar, next data. So a bar, b bar, c into d1 plus a bar, b, c bar into d2 plus a bar, b, c into d3 plus a b bar c bar into d4 plus a b bar c into d5 plus a b c bar into d6 plus a b c into d7. So this will be your corresponding expression, output expression for your multiplexer. Now can we form your uh, logic diagram using gates so what will be required you will be requiring AND gates for all multiplication and OR gate for all the addition right so if we can form uh, the gates so let me take your selection line A B C right so we want A bar so what will we do we will add a NOT gate similarly B bar similarly for C bar Okay, so here the value will be A bar, B bar, C bar. So now you have, now let me give the 8 and gates, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So all this will be connected to your output or gate, right? So this is going to be your or gate which will give your corresponding output y, okay? So what will be your first combination? First is equal to A bar, B bar, C bar. So A bar, A bar, B bar, okay, and C bar. Next input is equal to your D1, sorry D0, right? So what will be your corresponding output here? D0 into A bar, B bar, C bar, which will be going to your OR gate. Next is your A bar, B bar. So it is A bar, B bar, then C. So this is going to be your C. What will be your fourth input will be equal to D1. So the output will be equal to D1 into A bar, B bar, C. Next one is your A bar. That is again you have A bar, B and C bar ok next input is your D2 so your output here will be D2 into A bar B C bar next one is your A bar B C ok so here it is A bar next is your B and your C next input is equal to your D3 so it will be equal to D3 into A bar B C what will be your next one? A. So you will be having the first A, B bar, C bar. Next input will be your D4. So it will be equal to D4 into A, B bar, C bar. Then you have again A, B bar, C. Next input is your D5. So here it will be equal to D5 into A, B bar C. Next you have A, B and C bar. The next input is equal to D6. Okay. So D6 into A, B, C bar. 
so next one will be a b c right so a b and c next input is your <coughs> d7 so d7 into a b c so the next topic what you are going to study is your decoder okay so the next topic is your decoder so what is meant by a decoder decoder is a combinational circuit it is also a combinational circuit that decodes n bit binary information information to 2 power n to a maximum 2 power n output okay so what is the meaning of this decoder will consist of n inputs okay 1 2 etc up till n inputs and it converts it into 2 power n output so 1 2 etc up till 2 power n so if there are 3 inputs you will be getting 2 power 3 which is equal to 8 outputs okay now it is also it can also be called uh, what may be the other name uh, few to many or some to many don't confuse with demultiplexer demultiplexer is one to many here it is few inputs and your output will be many okay so one of the example given in your textbook is 3 to 8 decoder that is the one of the application is converting a 3 bit binary to octal conversion so 3 bit binary to octal conversion okay so i can write it as 3 to 8 decoder so what will be your inputs so a b c three inputs so what will be your output eight outputs so d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 okay so the truth table is given by so what will be your combination a b c will be your given input three inputs and the output is going to be eight okay so let me start with lsb here d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 ending with your msb so what will be your combination 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so this is going to be your input what will be your corresponding output so when you have the input as 0 0 0 input binary code as 0 0 0 what will you get your input lsb will be enabled right data d naught okay 8 bit so in the case of 1 d1 so all other will remain 0 d2 second case d2 third case d3 fourth case d4 fifth case d5 sixth case d6 last case it is your msb okay so if we can draw your uh, logic diagram so what will be your uh, output d0 will be equal to a bar b bar c bar d1 will be equal to same as that we have written in the previous case a bar b bar then c d3 will be equal to a bar b c bar d4 will be equal to a bar b c d5 will be equal to a b bar c d6 will be equal to a b c bar and d7 is equal to a b c so how can we construct your logic diagram so logic diagram can be constructed using 
AND gates, right? So let me give the three inputs now. One, two, three. So A, B, C. If we want to get the inverted output, so you will be getting, you will be giving a NOT gate. B bar. And here you will be getting, this is C, right? C bar. Okay. A bar, B bar, C bar. So let me give the output and gates so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so this will be your output d naught d1 d2 d3 d4 D5, D6, D7. Three input, eight output. Okay. So what will be your first case? It is A bar, B bar, C bar. So it is equal to A bar, B bar and C bar. Second case, it is A bar, B bar, 1. So A bar, B bar, and C. Okay. Third it is A bar B C bar. So here it is A bar B C bar. So here is your C bar. Next case it is A bar B C. A bar B. It is your B C. Next it is A, B bar, C bar. So here it is your A, B bar, C bar. Okay. Next A, B bar, C. Next you have again your A, B bar. Next is C. Okay. Next you have A, B, C bar. So again you have A, B, C bar. Okay. D7, A, B, C. You have A. Next is your B. And next is your C. Okay. This will be your corresponding output of your decoder which converts 3 bit inputs into your 7.